Hello Rockdale, Sean Kimball here with another COVID report. Today I've got a special guest, Dr. Arona with the Gwinnett Newton Rockdale Health Department. And she's gonna let us know a little bit of the numbers and give us more information about what's going on here in Rockdale County. Dr. Arona, thank you so much for being with us today. Uh, can you give me a little bit of your background and history and what you do here for Rockdale County? I am Audrey Rona. I'm a district health director for three counties in Georgia. That's Rockdale, Newton, and Gwinnett uh, County. And um, I was an OBGYN doctor for 30 years prior to this role. I volunteered with the health department in 2012, became their medical director in 2018, and then um, took over for my predecessor in 2019, just in time for COVID in time for COVID. That's great. Um, can you give us some of the latest numbers here in Rockdale County and what's kind of what's going on with the hospitals and so forth? We look at 14 day case rates and 14 day positivity for our tests. And so currently Rockdale County is at 517 cases per 100,000. Uh, and that's our 14 day published case rate that's published every Monday. Now, five weeks ago, July 4th, that number was 55. So we've gone in five short weeks from 55 to 517. Equally with our positivity, um, and what that is is basically what percentage of tests that we're doing are positive for COVID. And currently Rockdale County is at 14%. Five short weeks ago, we were at 2%. So you can see our numbers are really climbing uh, quickly and fast. Are we seeing most of that due to the, the Delta variant? Yes, most of the predominant uh, COVID variant uh, in Georgia and in Rockdale and other places that we've you know, seen across the state is, is the Delta variant. Um, and we're not surprised to see this really because we're still way less than 50% vaccinated in our counties. What's the difference between the COVID that we started off with and the Delta variant that we're having now? Right, so uh, there's a few differences. First of all, when COVID first came out, we all had a naive immune system to it, so we're all susceptible. So a lot of us have had COVID and a lot of us are now vaccinated. And what viruses do, just like COVID, is they change their genetic code. Um, it's called a mutation or a variant. And so the variants change as, you know, as time goes on. The Delta variant is specifically a problem for us because it is very, very contagious. Um, initially, the COVID virus, uh, if one person got COVID, they would spread it to two people. This current Delta variant spreads to eight people with one person. So it's four times as contagious as the original virus that we had 18 months ago. So one of the questions we've seen online quite a bit is, do I need to get a COVID shot when I've already had COVID-19? Right, that's a great question and a common question. And the answer is absolutely. Um, if you've had COVID before, chances are you're still susceptible to the variants. That's how viruses work. Um, the vaccine uh, so far works really, really well against all the variants. That's great. So I've been vaccinated. Do I still have to wear a mask? The CDC has asked everyone, including those fully vaccinated, to wear a mask when they're in public continue hand washing, continue social distancing, all the things that we've learned in the past year that really helped to stop the spread of, of COVID, including staying home when you're sick and, um, and staying away from other people who are ill. If you are vaccinated for COVID, does it help you with the long-term effects of COVID if you do get it? You're going to see some people fully vaccinated, hospitalized, and some fully vaccinated people who pass away, um, but it's very, very rare. So again, the, the personal reason to get uh, vaccinated is so that you don't become infected with COVID and, and that, that, that you know, possibility is so much less. However, if you're fully vaccinated and you do get COVID, the chance of you having severe disease hospitalization and death is very, very, very small. And that's the message we're really trying to get. No vaccine is 100% effective in keeping you away from any particular disease you're being vaccinated for. You talk about hospitals. Uh, we're hearing a lot of noise about um, hospitals being maxed out and so forth. Can you give us a little idea of what's going on here locally in Rockdale County and well, even surrounding areas? What's going on with our hospitals? Hospitals are overcrowded. Our ERs are, are very, very overcrowded. If you break your arm, you need to be able to go to the ER to get something taken care of. And um, most of our ERs are being diverted right now to other places in the state where, um, where they are open. And so that's a major concern, but also, you know, the hospital staff is tired. Um, we've had a lot of hospital staff leave with nurses, everybody's struggling and competing for nurses, even in public health. 
And uh, so we've got a very tired healthcare system. It's been overtaxed and now we're seeing a surge. And so, you know, it's not too late um, to change the trajectory of all this. We just need more folks to stand up and get vaccinated. And it's super easy to get vaccinated. There's numerous places you can get it done at. Can you give us some ideas of those uh, facilities? We have a lot of vaccine. You can go to any market. You can walk into any health service. Um, ample, there's ample vaccine everywhere. We just, um, you know, are ha having a hard time, you know, getting people to agree to get it. What is the recommendation for those that are, that are pregnant? Pregnancy, we now know it's safe. And in, in fact, uh, American College of OBGYN and the maternal fetal specialist groups and societies all recommend that pregnant women get the vaccine as soon as possible. It's best if you get vaccinated prior to pregnancy, but no matter what gestational age, meaning how many, far, how, how many weeks along your pregnancy is, we still do recommend that you get the vaccine. Um, the antibodies from the vaccine cross uh, the placenta and protect the baby. They also, in breastfeeding mothers, will uh, pass breast milk, and so the babies are protected that way too. We do know that the miscarriage rate and the loss of pregnancy uh, from the vaccine is really, it has not been shown to happen. Um, but we do know that with COVID infection, we do see increased miscarriages and loss of pregnancy um, as well. And so um, that's why we're really highly recommending all pregnant women to get vaccinated as soon as possible, no matter what trimester they're in. With all the information going on in the world, uh, people are hearing things through YouTube and Facebook and everything else. And a lot of them don't trust the World Health Organization or CDC. Who can they go to locally that they can trust? Well, you know, I would hope they would go to our website. We're local. I'm your health director. Um, hopefully you'll go to our website. It's gnrhealth.com. And, you know, we have a lot of information. We also have a lot of links to CDC guidance and to answer different questions that everyone has. There's a link on there to tell you where you can go to get vaccinated, uh, the, a link to you know, uh, pretty much anything related to COVID that you're curious about. Um, but remember that you know, um, a year and a half ago, we knew nothing about this virus, right? We absolutely knew nothing about COVID and we were all learning at the same time. And unfortunately, politics has gotten into you know, COVID in a grand way. Uh, and that's unfortunate for a lot of reasons, but especially because when you talk about public trust, uh, right, when guidance changes, there's a tendency to say, you know, well, why didn't they know this before? And why is it different now? Again, the knowledge changes and therefore the guidance changes. And so I think everyone just really needs to have grace and acceptance that guidance will change, especially about a virus that we're all learning about. Okay. Is there anything else that you want to discuss today? Um, I would just like to say that, you know, um, first of all, this is a perfect storm for a surge in cases. We have not enough people vaccinated. We have a very contagious Delta virus. And we also have relaxed a lot of our social, you know, distancing and mask wearing and all that. And so, of course, cases are going to rise right now, right? Um, but the important thing is, is that that, you know, the only way out of this pandemic is for people to step up and get vaccinated. Okay, I've had discussions with a lot of people on this. Where did the flu go? We get to, everybody's got COVID, it's, there's such concern about COVID, it used to be flu. What happened to the flu? With all the mask wearing and the hand washing and the staying away from each other last year, we essentially had zero uh, of a flu epidemic, right? So we did push the flu vaccine, and I think a lot of people last year um, stepped up and got the flu vaccine, which is still important, by the way. Um, and so the combination of all of that is really what kept our flu season at bay. And we saw it all the way from the Southern Hemisphere all the way up here. And, um, and we're seeing that again. So hopefully this year, the flu season will not be uh, as bad either, again, with washing hands and wearing masks and, and all that, but I would encourage people to get the flu vaccine when it's available. And it's important for everyone to know that you can get the COVID vaccine and the flu shot at the same time. Thank you, Dr. Arona, for coming in and talking with us about the vaccines and about COVID here in Rockdale County and the numbers that we have going on, especially the rises in numbers and what's going on with our hospitals. Folks, you have the information now. Make sure you have those conversations with yourself, with your family, your friends, your spouse, whoever it is, those that are susceptible to this um, virus, please, please have that conversation and get those, um, get those vaccinations 
and make sure to get that second dose. If you're supposed to have two, it's not fully effective until you have that second dose. So let's not forget that. If you're looking for more information, you can come to any of our social media sites uh, here in Rockdale County. They're, most of them are Insta um, on Instagram and Facebook are all Rockdale Gov. You can go to YouTube at Rockdale 23, and you can go to GNRHealth.com to talk with Dr. Arona and her staff, which by the way is incredible, and you can get vaccinated there, and you can get all the information you need from there. So give them a call or look on their website. We'll see you next time.